Hello, and welcome to another episode of Bandol Science. In today's episode, the flight envelope. In the current aerospace industry, there are so many different aircraft. Now, while all airplane models operate similarly, at the end of the day, they are different, and they will respond differently. Because of this, a pilot who has flown the 777, for example, cannot just get on the 747 or on an Airbus Beluga and fly it. It is unsafe. This is where the flight envelope comes in. The flight envelope is a manual which contains the flight capabilities of a particular airplane. Its purpose is to serve and educate the pilots in better understanding the capabilities of this specific airplane that they intend to fly. In other words, it contains the do's and don'ts of flying that particular airplane. To be more specific, the flight envelope is made up of a collection of BN diagrams. In other words, the BN diagrams are the flight envelope. A BN diagram works by correlating the relationship between the load factor, the airspeed, and the altitude. To use the diagram, a pilot must simply obtain the variables from the plane and input them into the diagram thereby locating the plane's position in the flight envelope. The VN diagram works effectively because it is only created after much data compiling and simulations which take into account the following factors jet performance, loads, speed, stalls, upsets, and unusual attitudes. There are several important areas with within all flight envelopes. The safe area, which every pilot wants to fly in, ideally within the maximum line lift. You will also find a caution range, as well as a structural failure area, which must be avoided. There will also be a never exceed speed, as well as an equivalent airspeed. Ideally, you want to fly within the flight envelope or the structural limit as it's technically called. This is the safe zone. The proper use of the flight envelope has facilitated the education and training of pilots towards different aircraft. More importantly, it has decreased accidents. Until next time, this has been Vandal Science.